Relationship Advice Update My, 24 female, boyfriend, 28, of 10 years, has become incredibly secretive of his phone, laptop, social media, and car. Original Post Me and my boyfriend haven't really had any secrets, until very recently. Since we began trusting each other, we had the passwords to each other's phones and social media accounts, and were very transparent about things that most people keep secret. About two months ago, he started not wanting me go to his car without notice beforehand. I brushed this off as him not wanting me to see his dirty car. A few weeks later, I tried to borrow his laptop, which he is normally okay with, and he was livid. He told me I was invading his privacy, which I felt terrible about and apologized. A little while later, he was driving us to the store and he got a text, I picked up his phone, so I could read it out to him. He snapped on me the second I grabbed his phone. I again felt really bad and apologized. This week I was thinking about this stuff, and my irrational side got the best of me and I considered that he could be cheating on me, so I logged onto his Instagram on my phone. I looked through it and saw nothing really out of the ordinary, except that he was following a lot of adult movie stars and fitness models, but I couldn't give a damn if he gets off to their Instagrams. I instantly felt awful about this, so I told him what I did, and he told me he was going to change all of his passwords. I asked him why he isn't okay with sharing his secret stuff with me anymore, and he told me he just didn't want to anymore. He very obviously was getting upset by the question, so I decided to probe into it any further. Is this normal behavior for a long-term relationship? Edit, yes, when we became official, he had just turned 18 and I was 14. Now for the top advice before reading the update. So, full disclosure here. I was a cheating a-hole at one point in my life and did the same exact thing. If I went to the bathroom or shower, phone came with me. If I went to the kitchen to get something to drink, phone came with me. Girl tried to grab it from my hand one day because I was being so secretive about it, and I practically smashed the phone pulling it back away from her. She finally got me when I fell asleep one day, and I'm glad she did. Was a weight off my shoulders, and now I get to live in fear of the karma gods for the rest of my life. My guess is, he is absolutely cheating. Sorry. Thanks for your honesty. And for the help. 10 years. So you were 14 and he was 18 when you started dating? Oh no no no. Also, yes, the things here point to potential cheating in my opinion, purely because it's a change in behavior. Irrational anger over briefly using a laptop after 10 years together? That seems so strange to me. Also the car thing, I would be inclined to think he is hiding a spare phone or condoms or something inside it. I would understand his annoyance at you logging into his Instagram, but the above two things seem very suspect. I wouldn't say assume the worst, but just stay alert and look out for other signs that he is hiding something. Also, he pursued a 14 year old when he was 18, so there's that. The more math you do, the creepier this gets. Maybe he found a new 14 year old. And now for the update. So. I found out he was cheating on me with an underaged girl. Yesterday morning, after I confronted him and asked flat out if he cheated on me, he admitted that he had received an oral from another woman. He said he blocked her on everything, but she kept creating Instagram accounts to contact him. I asked why he hid this, and he said he was ashamed and was looking for the right time to say something. Something in my gut told me he still was lying, so I snuck into his room and stole his phone while he showered, he forgot to take my thumbprint out of his phone. I looked at his most recent texts, and a few hours before, he had texted an unnamed number, I told girlfriend I was cheating on her, we might not be able to see each other for a while. If you need me, message me on Insta. I have never been so hurt by anything in my life, I felt my heart drop as I read the text, I looked at past texts and saw pictures of his member and her body, and him saying she looked better than me. I moved on to his Instagram, and like a lot of people said, he had a second one he used to DM women. I found a conversation with the girl he had been talking to, that started in August 2019, and suggested he had been effing her since October 2019. For at least one year of our relationship, he was unfaithful. I checked the girl's profile to see if she was better looking than me, and saw in her bio the name of a high school near us in class of 2023. My stomach turned and I had to stop myself from throwing up. He was screwing a 15 year old girl. At that point, I had seen enough and decided to leave the apartment. I screenshotted everything and sent it to myself. I went to my friend's place where I showed her everything. I felt so disgusted and guilty. 
a bunch of the people that commented on my first post, spoke about how he groomed me, and I just now am realizing how right they were. If I hadn't let our relationship continue and told the other young girls what he did, it might have stopped him from doing it to other girls. I refuse to look back at his Instagram because I don't want to know how many young girls I helped him either violate or mistreat in some way. I feel so gross for defending him. I also feel disgusted by the fact that it's very likely I performed oral on him, hours after he had slipped his member into a high schooler. That evening we began the process of reporting him, and hopefully he will be thrown to jail very soon. I'm going to try to do what I can to right the wrongs I did with this, and I'm planning to get an STI test, and some therapy to get past this and raise my self-esteem again. Thanks for those of you that tried to help me. Wow. I'm glad you left and reported him to police. He is a predator and needs to be locked up. Although it may not feel like it, I promise you will be okay. I second this. Thank you OP for doing the right thing. I know it's so traumatizing and hard for you to suddenly come to grips with your boyfriend not only being deceitful, but also manipulating you as a young girl. I'm so proud of you because this is not something many spouses slash girlfriends do when faced with the possibility of their male partner training children. You are so strong because you did exactly what so many do not feel they can do. You realized your boyfriend was hiding things, but he obviously isn't very smart because he didn't think of your thumbprint in his phone to unlock it and you brilliantly found and sent yourself the proof of his indiscretions with kids. That's what they are. You are not responsible for his actions. His inappropriate behavior is not your fault. You are also his victim, and are taking the steps to try and prevent other girls from ending up under his control. You're being a goddamn hero. I was going to say, if they met 10 years ago, he was 18 and she was 14. That's borderline pred already. None of this, none of this is your fault. If you are 24 and he's been your boyfriend for 10 years, that means. You were 14. Please recognize that you were trained and violated too. I'm glad you reported him, and please get all the therapy you need. I know you feel you love him, but he's the only man you've ever known. You will continue to grow and there will be other wonderful men in your life. Take care OP. This is exactly what I came to say. She was 14 when they started dating. She needs to run fast and report him with any evidence she has. Now for the next story. Update, boyfriend, 18 male, is upset that my, 18 female, brother, 26 male, didn't let him spend the night with me when I was very drunk and passed out. Original post. I've just turned 18 and can now legally drink where we live. So, my brother invited me, my new boyfriend and a few friends and cousins over to hang out and maybe get drunk. I drank way more than I should have. People left one by one, and I was only there with my brother and boyfriend, I don't remember much except that I woke up in his spare bedroom in the morning and my boyfriend wasn't there. Apparently, I passed out on the couch, brother took me to the bedroom to sleep, boyfriend wanted to spend the night there, but my brother said no. My brother says he didn't let him stay because he doesn't know him and he didn't know if we'd been intimate, and I was completely incapacitated and couldn't consent to X or anything intimate. So. He felt like it's safer to not allow him spend the night there with me. Boyfriend insisted that he didn't want to have action, just cuddling. He got confrontational with my brother and accused him of being controlling, and said he has no right to decide if he can spend the night with me, which my brother told him, I can decide you're not going to spend another minute in my house, boyfriend said he'll leave, but he'll take me with him. Brother stood in his way and told him to either leave or deal with the police. Boyfriend left. So here we are. My brother thinks I'm dating a complete idiot and a-hole, my boyfriend thinks I have an a-hole controlling brother, and I've spent the last two days regretting drinking that much. My own feeling is that, it would have been okay if my boyfriend spent the night with me in the bed, but absolutely not okay to have ex, we haven't had intercourse yet, dating for less than a month. I understand why my brother acted in a protective way, I was drunk, and letting a guy who is interested in me intimately spend the night with me, is just unnecessary risk. I also understand my boyfriend's disappointment, but he should have respected my brother in his own house. So now my boyfriend has demanded an apology from my brother for being mistrusted and for interfering in his relationship, and my brother had banned him from future events and parties at his place for being an a-hole. My boyfriend would also like me to demand an apology on my own behalf from my brother, for him acting the way he did, by assuming he can decide who I can or can't spend the night with. I'm in this mess and I need to make this disappear if I am to have some peace, and make everything normal again with my relationship and family. What do I say to my boyfriend? 
I think he needs to drop this and move on, and over time show to my family that his behavior on the night wasn't who he really is, to earn their trust. Now for the top advice before the update. Your bro is a true bro. We need more men like him to hold other men accountable. Not only is he family, he's the right kind of family. Looks like I owe him a big hug. I also agree with other posters about your boyfriend's behavior being untrustworthy. You've been dating less than a month and not been intimate, he really thought it would be okay to sleep in bed with you without your consent? He had a fit about something he easily could have brushed off, any mature dude would have slept on the couch no questions asked. On top of that, he would have saved face slash earned your brother and family's trust. When I had been dating my, now, husband for nearly a year, whenever we stayed at my parents house several hours away, he insisted on sleeping on the couch. He didn't want to disrespect my parents or their house, even though they never indicated it would be an issue. You are newly 18, but even at that age, parents and older family members would likely put the kibosh on you having a guy you've only just started dating, sleeping in your room with you, especially when you are under the influence no less. Your boyfriend isn't off to a great start with earning your family's trust. Even you, might want to consider how much you trust him, given how he so aggressively pursued being able to sleep in bed with you. If anything, he should apologize to your brother for making such a fuss. I can't see this relationship lasting very long if this is how your boyfriend reacts whenever he doesn't get his way. It's awesome you have a protective big bro. He might have just saved you from being violated. Sounds like your bro made the right call, especially considering your boyfriend's behavior. Yup. That dude was definitely going to try to take advantage of you while you were passed out. Nobody gets angry and confrontational for not being allowed to cuddle. Your brother was looking out. The fact that your boyfriend can't for one second understand your brother's rationale after the heat of the moment, tells me that your brother was right about him. Yeah OP, this is what I came here to say. Your brother made a very understandable choice, and in my opinion it was the correct one. Any good guy could easily see that and respect his decision. Your boyfriend comes across as entitled, and honestly, like he had bad intentions. Maybe he was a little drunk too and thought you two could have some drunk fun together, but your brother shot that possibility down and he got upset. No good guy gets upset when they can't cuddle their passed out girlfriend. But a horrible guy will definitely get upset he can't screw one. And now for the update. Based on the advice of you guys, my parents and my brother, I broke up with my boyfriend. So, I asked my boyfriend what he expected to happen that night if he was allowed to spend the night with me. He repeatedly said nothing, but let slip that maybe he hoped we'd have fun in the morning. So you guys were right, he wanted to have action that night with me, and he probably would have, if he was allowed to spend the night with me. Even the thought of it gives me a lot of stress. I always knew forced intercourse is a danger a lot of women, and men, face, but never felt it so close to me. Maybe because I've always been with people I trust. I don't know. I never thought it could happen so easily to me. It would have happened to me that night if my brother hadn't protected me the way he did. I'm going to be a lot more careful about my own safety from now on. I won't be as trusting to strangers and I'm now learning my drinking limits, so that I won't overdo it, especially where I might be vulnerable. My brother also told me to never accept a drink from the people I don't 100% trust. Thanks Reddit. Now for closing comments. You definitely made the right decision. This guy was bad news all around. Absolutely. This should go without saying, but never trust a guy who would willingly move you from a safe sleeping place when you were blackout drunk and already passed out. If my wife was passed out drunk and I was in a room with her brother, I'd probably just sit a chill with him, have a few more drinks and talk music. I'd expect the same of anyone dating my sister. But, oh great, she's passed out? I'm going to go give her a cuddle, yeah no freaking chance mate, the night's over, get the hell out my house. Her brother is also really awesome, took care of his sister no matter what. He deserves more credit. Your brother knew what was up because your brother knows boys like that. Violation happens from people you trust more than strangers. Being guilted into yes. Obligating a yes. Ignoring a no. Your duty. I am so sorry how close this came to you. Take a look into other instances of incidents and see just how disgustingly common it is. This is the messed up thing. We spent so much time getting warned about stranger danger, growing up, I thought there was a kidnapper lurking behind every bush, but never about the danger from people you know. All the people I know who have been violated slash mistreated has had it done by someone they knew.
I see a lot of people on here upset on the boyfriend's behalf. Like who hears their blacked out girlfriend's big bro say, nope, she can't say it's okay for you to come in, so I'm going to keep her safe, and gets mad? Like any respectful partner would be like, solid, we both want to keep her safe. I'll be here on the couch, and she can tell you ahead of time for any next time. Sounded like he got mad because he was going to do more than just sleep. Might have been a grope rather than full offense, but still not okay. Maybe he's just immature, I don't know, but OP deserves someone respectful. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.